Welcome to Al Ahli Online TV English News. I'm Yumna Atwa at Al Ahli Wiya Salam Stadium to get you the top weekly news of the Club of the Century. Let's start with the headlines. Al Ahli moans passing away of Mamelodi Sundowns player Anela Nikonga. Al Ahli continues the journey towards the historical triple. Al Ahli reaches the semi finals of the Egyptian Cup after defeating Abu Qi Fertilizers 2 to 1. COVID 19 hits Al Ahli ahead of the CAF Champions League final. Hania Najaye back to training. Al Ahli starts a close training camp in preparation for the CAF Champions League final again at Zamalek. Our loaned players are back in preparation for the next season and Badr Banoon participates in training. Second COVID-19 test for Kahraba and Saleh Gum'a before CAF Champions League final. Al Ahli basketball ladies are the champions of Cairo League. Renewal of Al Ahli Sporting Club headquarters gate. Al Ahli TV won the best Arab sport channel in the Arab Satellite Festival. Al Ahli moans the death of Anela Nukonga. Al Ahli issued a statement moaning the Sundowns family about the death of their player Anela Nukonga, who died today in a tragic accident. And the club expressed in a letter signed by Mahmoud Al Khatib, the club president, its support for the Sundowns player and his family, praying to God to rest his soul in peace. The journey to triple continues. After defeating Abu Qir Fertilizers 2 to 1 at Burg Al Arab Stadium, Al Ahli reaches the semi finals to face Al Ittihad of Alexandria. Al Ahli controlled the game from its beginning, as our players were keen to take the lead early in the game and scored two goals with an impressive screamer from our veteran Walid Suleiman in the first half. Then we conceded a goal before half time. COVID 19 hits Al Ahli ahead of CAF Champions League final. The number of players infected with COVID-19 increased to five players in the team ahead of the CAF Champions League final against Zamalek. The players are Kahraba, Saleh Gum'a, Walid Suleiman, Ahmed Yasser Rayyan and Muhammad Sharif. Back to training. Al Ahli's doctor Khalid Mahmoud confirmed that our three injured players, Junior Ajaye, Muhammad Hani, and Ali Lutfi, are close to participating once again in Al Ahli's first team. The team's doctor added that all three players will gradually join full training starting from today. Our winger Ajaye suffered an ankle sprain earlier this week, while both Hani and Lutfi picked up knee injuries. Close camp to prepare for the African final. Al Ahli's director of football, Said Abdul Hafiz, stated that the team will begin a close training camp today to prepare for the CAF Champions League final. The decision comes as a part of the precautionary and preventive measures taken to ensure the safety of everyone in the wake of the second wave of COVID 19. Abdul Hafiz meets with our loanees. Our director of football, Said Abdul Hafiz, met with our players who finished their loans and returned back to the team. The following players, Salah Mohsen, Nasser Maher, Muhammad Sharif, Akram Tawfi, and Ahmad Yasser Rayyan, returned to the team after producing great performances during the loan. The five players sat down with Abdul Hafiz and our coaching staff in order to discuss the plans for the upcoming period. COVID 19 tests for Kahraba and Salah Gum'a. Our players Mahmoud Kahraba and Saleh Gum'a will undergo a second COVID-19 test after both came out positive, which forced both to miss the last training sessions. Kahraba and Saleh missed our game against Abu Qir Fertilizers and hope to come out negative ahead of the CAF Champions League final. Basketball ladies are the champions of Cairo League. Our ladies clenched the Cairo League title after defeating Gizira 77 to 55 points in the final. Al Ahli ladies had a wonderful night after controlling the game from the start to the end, thanks to the great performance from Suraya Muhammad and Kyla Thronton. Our ladies had the upper hand in the game and showed up a great performance in the second half of the game to win the title. Al Ahli inaugurates Gizira's main entrance. Al Ahli board of directors, headed by Captain Mahmoud Al Khatib, inaugurated the club's new main entrance at Al Gizira branch. The design of our new main entrance portrays Al Ahli's personality in terms of huge focus on our iconic red color. 
On a similar note, Al Ahlis Gezira branch continues to witness unprecedented infrastructure development, which is a part of the plan set by our board of directors to offer best services to the club members. Al Ahli TV channel won the first place as the best Arab sports channel in the Arab Satellite Festival. The award was received by Mahmoud Adli, CEO of Live, which runs the channel, in presence of Muhammad Kamel, CEO of the company, and Ihab Al Khatib, director of the channel. Thanks for watching Al Ahli Online TV English News. From Al Ahli Biya Salam Stadium, I'm Yumna Atwa. See you next week.